good morning guys welcome back to another video so today we are going to be picking up these bad boys right here these moffets we got four of them so we've hauled this one before but i've never hauled these red ones um but yeah i'm pretty sure it's all the same routine we're gonna throw a strap over the tires all right chain that way chain that way and then we're good um so yeah i got the truck wash this morning took a little long because they only have one bay she looks nice look at that i gotta wipe her down we're gonna do a 34 anyways near columbus so but we're gonna wipe her down polish up the wheels and whatnot so but we're gonna continue getting loaded and i will see you guys in a bit one down well two down two more to go these things load up pretty fast so now that we know how to chain them down and strap them down i think we're pretty good here all right guys feeling this bad boy up about to fill her up full and now we're out of here we're gonna be parked up in columbus at this pilot it's literally down the street from my freaking drop so i may as well just stop there you know instead of sitting here again as see it i mean i'd love to but it doesn't make any sense you know so all right y'all so <clears throat> i was trying to take people's advice and taking these these ratchet uh the rollers or whatever and throw them on the other side <laughs> let me show y'all what the other side looks like this truck stop is like disgusting dude it smells like piss just absolutely disgusting let me show y'all So the other side looks like this. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. I guess this is where you could install the rollers. So, yeah. Freaking sucks. But what are you gonna do, you know? Can't win them all. Um, but I did move a couple rollers from the other side, um, kind of over. To like the front section and then in the back as well um yeah i'm just doing a little tree trip on the truck and everything i mean it's sunday i still got a whole freaking day to hang out here but may as well just do a pre-trip probably gonna check my tire pressures and everything like that and then monday morning we get to deliver the the first moffet on the thing so yeah we added we used to have five here now we got three we got three there two there two right there one in the middle one in the back so uh but yeah so this one is going to be going to the first stop here in columbus which i'm literally like three miles away um the next one's aberdeen houston and then we got college station so hopefully we'll see what we can get out of texas all right, so I told y'all earlier, I was doing a breach up around the truck, all right? Pop the hood and everything like that. And you know, stuff happens, but let me show you what I found. So number one, heard an exhaust leak. And I was sitting there like, oh damn. Well, look at that, bad boy split it right in half, dude. So I ended up driving to Napa, picking up uh, a cutoff wheel, 50 bucks 10 bucks for the pack and then i got six feet of flex pipe so yeah um we're gonna wait till it gets a little bit cooler to pull all this off i wd 40 everything so it should come off no debt uh with no hesitation replace it put it back on and we should be good but <laughs> i was about to order a freaking uber and I looked at the Uber, it was like 50 bucks. And I was sitting there, I'm like, man, I ain't about to pay 50 bucks for a round trip. And I still gotta go to Harbor Freight, you know? So I just ended up bobtailing, I locked the truck up. For some of y'all that don't know, I still have that Kingpin lock that I got from Landstar that I paid for like two and a half, three years ago almost. So, um, yeah, it works like a charm. I even had a glad hand lock and everything. And I locked my side box on my trailer, so. You know, wasn't nobody really gonna mess with it. So, 
Um, I didn't take too long. We got food and everything. Went to Raising Cane's. And honestly, Raising Cane's really ain't all that. Zaxby just destroys Raising Cane's all day. Um, but yeah, we're going to wait for this to cool down. Fix this up. And then that should, you know, be our Sunday. Fixing stuff. So, just got the new one replaced. Should be good to go. Alright guys, so we just got done with the first stop early this morning. Now we got another 10 hours of ride all the way to Aberdeen, Mississippi. So there's a new one parked over there. It's a weird day. It's like smoky out here. But um, yeah, we're a little lighter than we were before. Maybe like six, seven thousand pounds lighter, but time to hit the road. What is going on guys? All right, y'all, so we finally stopped after like freaking eight long hours, seven long hours of driving. <clears throat> We're here in Tennessee at exit 126, I believe. We stopped at this little taco joint down the road from the Loves. Taco, I think it's Taco Del Taco. Pretty solid food, not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to leave them a five-star review. So uh, Taco Del Taco, exit 126, Tennessee, baby, on Bowden. Um, We got another like what three hours left till we get to our destination so we're gonna get there and uh deliver this moffet and then keep going down the road to houston so catch y'all in a little bit and if you guys are wondering where exactly this place is it's right here as you can see the exit down there <clears throat> there it is it's called taco el taco so pretty dang gas I cannot say anything bad about it. So. Alright guys, pulled into this little mom and pop business. Got the other one unloaded with their little tilt trailer. He did it pretty dang smooth. I'll give him that. Dude's pro. Alright. Parked up for night. We got two left. That means Houston and College Station are the only stops we got left, baby. Now it's time to just chill, wake up in the morning, shower, and go to Houston. Alright guys, we stopped over here in Lafayette. Gonna go do a 30 and get some freaking Whataburger, baby. God dang, she look good from afar. Woo! Alright ladies and gents, we are in Texas and boy, I can feel the freaking heat, man. It's so goddamn hot. Like it's insane, dude. Like my my AC's keeping up, but it's I'm still sweating up in here, dude. Um Yeah, we're maybe like 40 miles out from where we gotta go, but unfortunately we can't deliver it today. <clears throat> we're gonna have to uh deliver tomorrow in the morning, then we gotta go head over to College Station. And then from there, I don't know, haven't found anything that's worthwhile, you know. Got offered a oversize, I don't know if we'll take it. It's very, it's literally, about, it's like right on the edge of 12 foot wide. So I need to get permits and everything like that. So I don't know, we might be hauling our first oversize load out of Laredo, who knows? We'll see what happens, but um, yeah. It's crazy though, <clears throat> like when I was in Ohio, like the air quality just got bad out of nowhere and now it's it's like literally followed me all the way down to Texas. Isn't that crazy dude? I think it's from those forest fires that are that are still like going on or something, I don't know dude. But in every, every state I've been to it just says, uh, watch out air quality bad or whatever the case is, so yeah kind of crazy but what are you gonna do it's a shame you know all that stuff burning and causing the quality of the air to be this bad It's probably 
probably hotter here than it is in Florida, and that says a lot. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy's calling. Good morning, guys. Um, it is like 9.30 in Texas right now. Um, I decided not to go like early in the morning because traffic was like super freaking bad. Um, Collar Station is only like 90 miles away, so that's good. We're about to head out now. I called the tow truck company. They're about to come and load this bad boy, and then we are going to be on the way to our last and final stop. Um, the unfortunate news is, is that just whatever's on the board right now, it's just tough to, I guess, find, you know what I'm saying? So, but what are you going to do, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm going to go make it to our, uh, delivery, and then on to the next one. Alright guys, so we got this Moffat, we're on the dang flatbed, so, got to unload this bad boy. They wanted us to do it. All right, y'all, one left, and that's it. This place is pretty cool. Can't complain. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, it's the end of this video, as you can see. Um, we ended up going to College Station. I thought I recorded stuff, but I didn't. But the way those guys unloaded that last Moffat was actually pretty pretty sick. They had, like, a smaller, like, uh, day cab truck with a flatbed on it. And uh, I ended up lowering the trailer and the mo the fir the Moffat, he just drove it all the way to the end and he just put it in the trailer and then he just lifted the Moffat off <laughs> that it was sick um as you can see i'm in a car yeah i rented a car for a day um had to go to the bank and stuff and you know just wanted to get outside from the truck i was looking for loads couldn't find anything worth a damn um you know Everything that's on the Bennett load board, honestly, just is the stuff that nobody wants. So, you know, I had to wait like a day or two just to see what, you know, I could find that was better.